we're looking at an image of Bumper. So right now we have Bumper uh, frozen here. We're looking at her head facing forward. She's in profile, so here's her neck going down into her chest. Right, she's in mid-swallow uh, on this particular frame, so we can see that she has material in the back of her mouth here that started to move in the top part of her esophagus. Right, material generally should not be hung up in this spot, and we'll watch what the swallow looks like. Right. So she swallows, it goes down, but you can see her mouth moving as she kind of tries repeatedly to get that material to the back of her mouth and swallowed. And there she gets it down. Right, then we follow that material through her esophagus. We can see a little bit of the esophagus being dilated through here, but it's pretty mild. And down here is right at the diaphragm. So this is her lower esophageal sphincter, so the sphincter that separates the esophagus from the stomach. All right, that needs to open to let food material through. Uh, we can see here that the material stays above the lower esophageal sphincter and does not immediately move into the stomach as it should normally. Uh, now right there, we just caught it moving down. Now this was probably uh, 30 seconds or a minute after um, she had swallowed it. So see, there it goes, that lower esophageal sphincter opening to let material through. You can see some material kind of hung up here, still sloshing about a bit, not moving quite the esophagus normally. Here's another swallow. This is of slurry material. So we see her swallow that pretty well. This gets down to the stomach, but you see it sloshing up a little bit uh, and not making it into the stomach immediately. But then a little bit more material comes down, gets to just above the lower esophageal sphincter, opens and goes through nicely. Uh, so we can watch that again with another uh, swallow of food, makes it down, again gets that lower esophageal sphincter. Contraction pushes it back up. When the contractions, that lower esophageal sphincter should have opened to allow it through. And in this case, the material simply stays there in the esophagus, not making it into the stomach like it should. We then followed it with some kibble, um, and we gave her some kibble. She swallowed that pretty well, though some of it did get hung up in her neck. Uh, so it took another swallow of food to get things moving. Uh, but it moves through pretty well, pushes some of that remaining material in the esophagus through and immediately into the stomach. We did that a second time with some more kibble. Right, so again, she swallows hard, has a little bit of trouble getting it down, but does get it through, a little bit hung up in the, uh, in the esophagus and her neck, uh, makes it to the stomach, but then there's some contractions. And unfortunately, um, it does not immediately move into the stomach, even with some more material. And so it kind of stays there and sloshes around a little bit with some esophageal contractions. All right, so next thing we did then was give her a meatball. It was a pretty big meatball, um, and it swallowed pretty well and made it down actually quite rapidly. I wasn't able to actually catch it going into the stomach, so we gave her another one. Uh, that one, again, we were able to follow it all the way down through the esophagus and immediately into the stomach through the lower esophageal sphincter. So that went really well. All right, now after a while, um, we took her out and we let her run around um, and we pushed on her belly a little bit to see if we could induce a reflux and we put her back in her chair. And what we saw then was this little bit of material uh, now present in the esophagus um, right above the stomach and uh, it's sloshing around again with some contractions. So that may represent material that has come out of her stomach or could represent material that was caught up further in her esophagus and then is just now making it through. All right, so that little material remains there um, on imaging within the kind of the minute afterwards. All right, so that is bumper.